what is going on guys you guys seen the title realistic guitar samples that's exactly what we're doing today if you guys are new i am another vegan you guys seen on the little icon thing with the picture you can just call me vegan you know it doesn't really matter what really matters is what we're going to be doing today i'm going to show you guys the entire process the midis the effects the eqing with that being said let's go straight into fl studio and make some fire guitar samples all right guys so the first thing we have here is real guitar steel string it's just a really good vst i know dsk has a really good free guitar vst if you guys are looking for a free guitar sounds i'll leave the link down in the description below i'm going to be in the key of f minor natural and i'm going to start off with the bass line and then try to build the melody on top of that very simple nothing too crazy Nothing too crazy, very simple. Let's go ahead and try to build the melody on top of this. Let's go ahead and extend this note right here. And then we can go ahead and duplicate that right over here. Basic little melody going on. Now we can start to add some chords in here. So let's go ahead and extend these notes and make these into chords. Whoa, buddy. And now that we have that ready, we can go ahead and just duplicate this chord, move that back over, duplicate this one, move that back over since it's pretty much the same thing. And let's go ahead and see how this is sounding so far i'm going to go ahead and press alt r and then alt s to randomize and strum let's take a listen Go ahead and duplicate this part of the bass line just to get that little pause in there. I'm going to go ahead and knock the top line of these uh, chords down just to fill in that space. Let's see what that sounds like. I like that sound right there. I'm going to go ahead. Just duplicate this once more. We can go ahead and cut this note, knock this an octave lower. Extend this note. The next thing I'm gonna do is pitch this down about 300 cents. Just to make it a little darker. Now we can start to add some effects and make this a lot more interesting. So I'm gonna have it at half speed, one half loop FX all the way down to the left. We're gonna go ahead and cut off some of this low end. I'm gonna add some guitar amp. If you guys have guitar rig from Native Instruments, you guys can go ahead and use that. You guys can also use Hardcore if you guys are looking for a free alternative. Just turn the mix knob down when you're using some of those preset speakers. They can be kind of harsh. I'm gonna turn this down even lower. So let's go to negative 500 cents, which is down 500 semitones. I'm gonna turn some of these highs down and turn some of these mids down too. And 
now let's go ahead and bring this to life with some Valhalla reverb. You guys can use a regular reverb. This is just my preference. One more thing we can add is a gross beat. If you guys are trying to manipulate it even further, we can go ahead and add a gross beat and we can actually turn this back up to its original pitch. Pitch shifter, go to negative four and then turn the attack and the release pretty high. We can make this a little darker if you want. Turn this down on another 200 cents. And let's just get this going, man. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can add a second melody to this, maybe some sort of flute or something in the background. All right, I'll take that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and try to come up with some sort of counter melody. That doesn't sound too bad. Let me go ahead and duplicate that real quick. I'm going to go ahead and just offset these notes just because I feel like they might be uh, the attack is a little slow. So I'm going to go ahead and offset that. See how that sounds. See if it sounds like more on time. That makes sense. Um, I think we can add one more thing. We got space for something else. I'm gonna go ahead and add some vocals in here. So let's go ahead and pull up some exhale. I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate this, get a little vocal kind of loop going on. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Pancake 2 from Cable Guys. Uh, pretty much what this is doing is just making the vocals go from left to right. You All right, I think we're ready for some drums now. Go ahead and add this. <clears throat> All right, so let's get this 808 going. Now that we have this going, we can knock this an octave lower. Two octaves lower. That's, that seems fine to me. Go ahead and duplicate that over. That sounds good to me. Let's go. Hey, what are you doing? Thank you. Add a little one third. And we can just move it.
that over there. Get that a one six. Add a little bit of side chaining. I don't want to completely squash the 808. That's enough. some mid to this clap make it a little dirtier tighten it up Now that the drums are all leveled out, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the melody sounds good too. Now let's go ahead and add the second one. Sounds fine to me. I want this to be really ambient, so I'm going to spread this out. Same thing with the vocals. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't already subscribed, go ahead and click that red button down below. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Bang.